All right. I had a bunch of questions about how to turn the heater on and off in a Volvo. And I'm thinking to myself, am I the only one that reads the, the friggin' owner's manual? And then I thought, well, maybe they got, you know, their company guy and got the truck second. Somebody threw the manual out, whatever. All right, so I'm going to show you. It's real simple. You go on your panel here. This thing does the radio, the heater, all kinds of stuff. So the center button here, this one controls the temperature. This one here, you hit it one, two, three times. It says heat, off. Click the on, off button. On, set. Now, the little thing up here says heat. The heat is on. Turn it off. One, two, three. You're back on heat. Off, set, bam. And you adjust the temp. I have the temp pretty low because that, that, that was Wabasco heater. Smoke you out of here. All right. The heat is on. Oh, yeah. All right. Man, I'm a bad YouTuber. Did a load yesterday. Last minute load from uh, Lakeland, Florida to Jacksonville didn't video it figure out how many times you guys want to see me going up and down 301 or whatever was, you know I'm hanging out in Florida for the winter right so I'm supposed to be heading down to the track the guy said don't even worry about it till Wednesday Thursday cuz they got it in control I said okay so when I got when I did my load yesterday, I noticed that, uh, well, I was in contact with him. Or, I'm always in contact with him, with Snorlord. So I stopped and seen Snorlord, didn't video it, didn't go live, didn't do anything. We were busy chit-chatting. So I sat there overnight, and I had enough hours to get back home, but sat there overnight and I figured I'd do one of these little short hop Amazons if they popped up and one did so here we go you've already seen that but I want to talk about the affiliates on my channel and uh, products that I promote or apps I promote and there's only two of them I've tried a bunch of them you know if it's no good I don't promote it So, Trucker Path is one of them. Man, I use Trucker Path all the time. I don't know how I could live without it. And if there's going to be a, well, there is now, a link in the description below that you can get two weeks free trial with it. They also offered to pay me. I said no. Same thing with uh, Everblade heated wiper blades. There's a discount code there. Somebody comment in the comments below if they've used that lately because I've sent them an email. They, they sent me an email saying, hey, what's up, what's going on? I sent them back, hey, everything's good. Hopefully it's you know all good on your end. Is my discount code still active? And I've heard crickets, so. Somebody let me know if that discount code is still active. So usually what I do with these affiliates is, you know, they offer, both of them offer to pay me. I declined. I said, pass the savings on to my subscribers. So they did. Get 20% off of Everblades and you get a 14 day free trial of Trucker Path and they most recently sent me an email as well. There's all kinds of updates on there. They changed all kinds of things. So it looks good. It looks good. If I was parked, we'd go over it, but I'm not parked, right? I gotta go move this trailer 10 miles. Yeah, and that's it. We haven't been videoing much lately been playing golf until golf really ticked me off and 
that was that. I need to take a little break from that. So the next couple of videos you probably see is going to be at Sebring Raceway. Maybe the trip to Sebring. I don't know. Depends if I feel like uh, YouTubing or not. I guess I should. So it's, unless something exciting happens, that'll be the end of this video. Or I come up with another thought or a pith me. I'll click back on. But we're just cruising around Jacksonville. And I gotta tell you, it's damn cold. Snowlord brought that cold weather with him. I swear I had shorts on and t-shirts two days ago. And right now I am it's 43 degrees and you're in Jacksonville and I am freezing. Got my heavy jacket on. What the heck? All right. We're sitting there waiting for our first 14 mile Amazon load. And they were running late. And I had another one booked two hours after. So they didn't have any empty trailers. That's all I was moving is empty trailers from here to there, here to there. So that one canceled. And I do believe they still pay you. Because I didn't cancel it. And I was there for two and a half hours waiting for it. So we'll see. Anybody knows, comment comment below. So the second one picked up. I went and dropped it off. 14 miles. Look on the low board. There's more. Boom. Pick up another one. 15 miles. And then, I didn't want to push my lock. So now we're heading back south Florida. Actually, I'm going to go home. But I'm going to stop and take a look, see if there's anything out of Gainesville. And if there is, we'll pick it up. If there's not, we'll keep on rolling. Well, we were just passed through Waldo on the 301. I watch my videos. I go up and down this road all the time. When I go from uh, Orlando area to Jacksonville, I always cut across up 75 and up 301 and over. Because you could sit in Orlando on I-4 for hours. And hours. You go about 20 miles out of your way. And less traffic. Three hundred one. This is three hundred one. See all the trucks on it. It's a much better truck route than cutting through, cutting down ninety, going down ninety-five, and then going across I four. So scores, Amazon. Much better than the blocks. The blocks, man, they work you to death. For minuscule. It's averaging over $20 a mile today. A lot of sitting around, though. Score. So the next video you'll see will be at the uh, Sebring Racetrack get up and head down there tomorrow. I don't know when I'll start filming. Probably when I get there. Going through the gate or something. I have to go home and get... Oh, oh do I have my pass with me? I've got a giant race team pass i got to put in the windshield. Going down this 301, make sure you slow down for these posted speed limits. 
I see a lot of these Yahoo truckers just flying right through here. You will get a ticket. Up in Lawton. Guy had his window out with his radar camera. Yeah, don't speed on this road. So, all right, till the next video at the racetrack. Oh yeah.